to step back and take a big interview of something called class styles. So what is a class style? Well, basically a class style is the label that we give to the class so that students know what to expect when they come. Obviously, if you're going to a class that is a power style class, you're going to have a different expectation for what that experience is than if you're going to a Hoffa class. So we have some big buckets of styles that most of us are familiar with, like Hatha or Vinyasa or maybe power or hot. But there are also very specific and branded class styles. Um, like for example, an Iyengar class or an Ashtanga class or a Bikram class. Those have very specific elements. Um, and so you kind of know what to expect when you go to that particular class. So the class style can be determined by a whole range of things. Um, it can be determined by whether or not we use sun salutations. If you use vinyasa, right? So obviously if you're in a Hatha class, there may be a little bit less vinyasa and all that flowing than in a vinyasa class or a flow style class. The temperature can also impact the class style. So, you know, if it's a hot class, obviously that's gonna be a different experience than if the temperature is cool or moderate. Uh, the use of props, um, how the teacher cues. So whether or not you decide to cue a lot of alignment and actions or whether you decide to cue more of the breath, um, how fast you teach, the pacing of the class. So all of these elements contribute to what the class experience is. And then we kind of label, you know, commonalities as a class style so that students know what to expect. So here's the thing, as a teacher, ultimately, you're going to be creating your own teaching voice, right? So you will be teaching a class style that's all your own. Um, so as you start to consider these sequences which are coming up, you wanna think about, hey, it's not just about the poses, right? So the poses are of course, and how we, you know, the sequence that I'll give you is of course an important component of the class style, but it's not the only thing that creates the class experience. So the way that you transition between these poses, um, the pacing at which you teach them, how you choose to cue, that's all gonna contribute to the class experience. So as a teacher, what I'd love you to start to investigate or continue investigating is your unique teaching voice. What is your class intention for your students? What is the experience that you wanna create for them? And the sequence, that is the actual poses that you teach, will of course have a, be a big factor in that. But also all of these other elements like how you teach and the classroom environment, that's really gonna impact the student experience as well. So that's a wonderful and creative um, series of tools that you can think about as you develop your own teaching voice.